120 yards yeah. with cornerbacks coach LaMarcus Hicks, powered by DeWalt. Coach, we are in historic Wrigley Field. What would your walk-up song be? You know, it's, I mean, since we are in Chicago, I guess we would have to go with some Chicago, Chicago artists, uh, but I, I'm not sure. I, I'm not a big, I love music. I love all types of music. I love okay. all different genres. Uh, so something that would, uh, that would, you would hear it on a, on a game day in any stadium. So that would we'll get take going. it. Yeah. So many historic moments have happened right here where we're walking. What is the greatest sports moment of all time? I grew up as a 49er fan, so I would have to say something uh, that they did in the past. Uh, I grew up, again, just watching them a lot and watching Steve Young to Jerry Rice a lot, Steve Young to Terrell Owens. Uh, I mean, I just remember the, the Super Bowl that they won. Uh, I think it was Super Bowl 29 or something like that. You know, I was a young kid then, but that was a big moment, you know, in sports for me is just watching them and just going back in their history, just watching, you know, the Dwight Clarks and stuff like that. So, I mean, those were big moments for me growing up. As a player, you copied the numbers of all pro cornerback Champ Bailey wearing four yeah. <laughs> and then switching over to 24. What quality of his were you most enamored with? I mean, he was just an all around corner. He could cover, he could tackle. I mean, he was, you know, people tried to stay away from him just because he was so good. And uh, it's funny how I got to, to like Champ Bailey. He was in our newspaper and I looked in the newspaper, a small town, and it was Champ Bailey wearing number four. So I started reading up on him and I was like, man, this dude must be pretty good. So I started watching him. He was good. I liked it. I, so I did everything he did. I wore number four and he changed to 24 once he got to the NFL. So I changed to 24 in college. So. You and your wife, Ashley, have six kids, including two sets of boy twins. You're more than halfway to being able to field your own football <laughs> team. If you could pick any stadium as the Hicks home field, what would it be? It's got to be Ryan Field. It's got to be Ryan Field. I mean, that's where we are, um, especially in a couple years. There will be a new Ryan Field. I mean, that will be awesome. Uh, for my boys to, to be there. But uh, I tell you what, I don't have enough for a team, but I got enough for a whole secondary. I love that. That's <laughs> perfect. Yeah. You told me that you knew you mm. wanted to be a coach from a young age, as early as elementary school, middle mm. school. And when your NFL career ended, mm. you almost weren't sad because this next coaching journey could start. What is the mm. most exciting part of coaching for you? Yeah. What I enjoy, really, what I really get joy out of is when I get a phone call from a player that I coached four or five years ago, you know, and they call me about advice or, hey, coach, I just had a child. Hey, coach, I just got married. Like, I really enjoy that part of it more than the wins and losses. Well, we're happy to have you here, coach. That is 120 yards with cornerbacks coach LaMarcus Hicks.